There are two things most people dying from hypothermia will do in their final minutes alive. They'll dig holes and they'll take off their clothes. So bundle up, make yourself a hot cup of cocoa, and let's get started with the hole digging. People don't always necessarily dig holes, but it's been observed that they will often try to fit themselves into tight spaces right before they die of hypothermia. If there's no small space readily available, then they'll try to make one by digging a hole in the ground. These small spaces can include underneath cars, inside dressers, and yes, a hole dug into the ground. No one's entirely sure as to why this happens. We can't exactly study the end stages of hypothermia on human subjects because of the obvious ethical reasons. Any scientific experiment studying this would be massively inhumane. There is one slight exception though, which I'll talk about at the end of the video. The commonly accepted reason is that this burrowing is an instinct from our more bestial days. We're trying to get into an enclosed space to conserve heat. Fortunately for the viewers of the video, we do know why we exhibit the second behavior while suffering from hypothermia. While it may seem paradoxical for one to be compelled to take off their clothes while freezing to death, it does actually make sense when you look a layer deeper. And no, these unfortunate souls aren't removing their clothes to try to shorten their time spent suffering. As I'm sure my viewers living in cold areas can attest to, being in sub-freezing temperatures is quite painful. The extreme cold not only saps all the heat from your body, but frostbite also damages your nerves in the process. The sensation of one's nerves being frozen to death can only be described as an intense burning. It's this burning sensation that people suffering from hypothermia are trying to escape from when they strip off their clothes. In their mind, their body is burning up and the only way to reverse the process and cool down is to take off their clothes. Now you may remember how I said that we can't study the effects of hypothermia on humans. Unfortunately, that's only half true. It's true that now in the 21st century, an experiment that involves freezing other human beings to death to study their behavior is completely immoral. But there have been experiments in the past. The Nazis were unburdened by the ideas of ethics and morality. Enter the Dachau Human Hypothermia Study. This was a project running from August 1942 to May 1943. Germany had a particularly hard time fighting the Russians. The long distance between Germany and the Russian front made resupplies and reinforcements a logistical nightmare. And the infamous Russian code killed as many German soldiers as Russian bullets. A particular problem the Germans were facing were the German pilots shot down around Russia. These pilots would often survive their plane getting hit, but would later die from hypothermia as a result of improper gear and training. The Dachau Human Hypothermia Study sought to lower German pilots' mortality rates by exposing prisoners kept in the Dachau concentration camp to extreme cold environments. Prisoners were immersed in tanks of ice water under different circumstances. Some were wearing clothes, while others were stripped beforehand. Some were given anesthetics, while others were fully conscious. The goal of the Dachau Human Hypothermia Study was to find new ways to reduce and reverse the harm from human hypothermia so the Germans might be able to save their downed pilots. The Dachau Human Hypothermia Study was seen as having no medical value at the Nuremberg Trials. 